Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. So in today's Bite Size Training, I want to talk to you about blogging to increase inquiries and referrals through your website. So this is such an important topic because I know so many therapists are um, blogging. But I've been looking at some of your websites over the past week, and uh, what I can well, what I can say, what I can share with you, is that uh, sometimes I've noticed that people uh, haven't blogged for you know six months. One um, practice hadn't blogged for eighteen months. Uh, the blogs are using stock photos, which aren't so appealing, and some blogs just you just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, and uh, you know they take so much time to write and so much thought. And if you're not really a blog person and you don't know why you're blogging, I understand why it would be low on your list of priorities. But here's why blogging can be very very powerful when you're trying to build up clients for your private practice, and that's because the information that you share on a blog is also considered to be searchable content. And by that, what it means is that when a client is looking for information uh, and your blog uh, topic or your blog post speaks to that, it's going to come up in the search results. And that's what we want. But there are some secrets to blogging uh, and I want to share them with you. So first of all, always make sure that you're using good SEO when you're blogging. You don't blog from a mindset of being the therapist. You blog from the mindset of being a private practice owner. And that means we have to remove ourselves from therapy put ourselves in the driver's seat for how we're going to do this to build our business. Um, so check that your blog is using up-to-date SEO, and that means going in and refreshing it every now and again. The other thing is include backlinks. So black, a backlink simply means a link in the blog to other sections of the blog, like or other sections of the website, sorry, like your booking page, like your about page, like your services page, something like that. Um, if it has links in, for some reason, Google loves that and you automatically get ranked higher uh, without paying a cent for it as well, I might add. Now, one of the biggest challenges is finding time to blog. So I came up with this idea of, well, I've got two ideas really. One is micro blogging. So um, the way I'm defining a micro blog is something that's just a paragraph. At the most, it's two paragraphs. And to micro blog, um, all you're going to do is cut all the fluff out. You're just going to say uh, to your dreamiest client, right, um, this is what you're struggling with. Here are three things that you can do. And then you're going to have like a little call to action. Okay. That's it. So it's just one paragraph or two. The trick is you've got to include information that's useful. Okay. So it's when you include useful information that people will keep coming back. Um, and that's a philosophy I hold true myself. It's like I try in our group to make sure you're always getting useful information. Um, I try my podcast to make sure you're always getting useful information because I want you to keep coming back. I want to look after you. I want to make sure you've got what you need. Um, and so your blog has to have that same philosophy too. So if you're just saying, well, you should do this thing because it's going to create calm in your life, well, that's not enough of a reason for somebody to keep reading your other blog posts. So that's one thing. Just keep it really short, no fluff, um, one or two paragraphs, that's it. Uh, the second idea for microblogging is if you're not someone who likes to write, you're more of a talker, um, lean into that and just have an audio blog. How do you do it? Easy. You're just going to use the software that came with your laptop or your computer, or you could record it as a voice note on your phone. You're just going to record something that's like a blog. You're just going to say this, you know, today's um, audio is for this type of client who's struggling with this and here's what you're going to get from listening to it. Let's dive in. Boom, boom, boom. Point one, point two, point three. Give, give, give valuable stuff and then let them know what's coming up in the next episode. Keep it to three minutes, not even. The thing about audio is people somehow 
build a connection with us through audio more than through written um, work or more than through written word. And I think it's just because it gives us that other added dimension of hearing our voice and hearing what we're really like. So all you would do to do a micro audio blog is you would just literally jump on your phone and you're going to record something of value that's going to, you know, compel them to want to come back next Monday to listen to next Monday's audio that you post. Go save it as a file, upload it to your Dropbox or Google Drive, get the link from that, throw it into your blog section on your website. That's it. You're just going to say, you know, today's audio blog is on this topic and you will learn how to do this. Uh, coming next week, you know, you're going to hear about this. And then you just put the link. So easy. Doesn't cost you anything. And honestly, speaking takes a lot less energy than typing something out, making it look nice, making sure the grammar's there, da, 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 da. And by the way, if you're using stock photos, just stop. You don't need to be using those. They don't add anything extra. Um, it's just taking up space. If you're going to use photos, use photos of yourself. The more somebody gets to see you, see your face, your workspace, books you're reading, tea you're drinking, you know, your backyard, whatever it is, the more they're going to build that connection with you. So stop using stock photos. <laughs> Um, and if you are going to use stock photos, do go into the metadata on your website and describe what the photo is so that people can, you know, we, you know, it's more accessible for people, but also it will come up um, more in the it'll raise your website rankings in Google if people are searching for that particular thing. Okay. So there are some tips for you. Um, so I hope that this helps. Blogging gets to be easy, but remember, business heads, not therapy heads. The, the intention with your blog is to get inquiries from people that want to work with you and from people that you want to work with. So we're increasing the quality of your prospective leads. We're improving the quality of clients that are going to come and work with you. We're improving that alignment and that connection because they've already listened to a few audios and they're happy to, like, they know that they're on the same page as you. So it just improves everything. So audio, for those of you who don't want to write, for those of you who love to write, um, just keep it to a paragraph or two and make it short, sharp and effective. We'll compel them to come back because they don't want to miss out on what they might get next week. Does that make sense? Anyway, I hope that this helps. Uh, if there's anything I can do to support you with it, let me know. Have a wonderful Monday, everyone. Lovely to see you again. Bye.